Naturally, it worries me. How can such an object not make you worry? It's like you're sitting on a powder keg. This is how people in Anerhodara, temporarily occupied by the Russian army, have been living for the past five months. Having deployed its troops in the city from these positions, Russia daily fires artillery at Nikopol and Marhanets, located on the opposite bank of the Kahovka Reservoir. It's scary. There is shelling every night. The Russian army uses the location of its positions to provoke Ukrainian troops to fire in response, and then to accuse Ukraine of shelling a highly dangerous object. The Ukrainian military, understanding the possible consequences, do not open fire in response. Russia regularly organizes provocations in Anerhodar and strikes at the territory of the nuclear power plant in order to manipulate the opinion of its citizens. Accident number two in Zaporizhia is currently beneficial only to Americans. They need it. The Anglo-Saxons are losing control. The Anglo-Saxons are losing dominance. The situation became critical on August 28th after shelling in the occupied Anerhodar. An international atomic energy agency mission arrived in Ukraine to ensure safety at the nuclear power plant. It is headed by the director general of the organization, Rafael Grossi, and 13 other specialists. The day before, he met with President of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, in Kyiv. We are grateful that both sides understand each other. We want the IAEA mission, led by Director Grossi, to find an opportunity through our special services, thanks to the security corridors, to reach the station and do everything possible to avoid these global threats. According to Volodymyr Zelensky, the nuclear threat can be avoided if the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant is urgently demilitarized. Withdraw all Russian troops, remove weapons and ammunition from the territory, control over the station must be returned to Ukraine. In turn, the Kremlin said that an assessment of the situation by representatives of the mission was necessary. However, Russians are trying to do everything possible to disrupt the visit of the mission to the nuclear power plant from the territory controlled by Ukraine. Everything is predictable. Russia is deliberately shelling the corridors for the IAEA mission to reach the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Everything to offer passage through Crimea, separate areas of the Donetsk and Luhansk regions. The position of Ukraine remains unchanged. Access only through the controlled territory of Ukraine. Nuclear power plant demilitarization. Russian troops withdrawal. Only Ukrainian personnel at the station. Mikhailo Podolak, advisor to the head of the office of the president, on Twitter. On the evening of August 30th, when the IAEA mission was already in Kiev, the following message began to appear on social media. Explosions are heard again in the occupied Anarhodar. Experts believe that this is how Russia is trying to speak the language of nuclear blackmail. This is nuclear blackmail indeed, because the Russian army has not been successful at the front lately due to the supply of new weapons from our partners. On the territory of Crimea and in the rear in the occupied territories, airfields and ammunition depots began to explode. There is no progress in the Donetsk direction. In addition, the Russian Federation has huge losses in manpower. Therefore, an ultimatum may be put forward. We will leave the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant if you recognize Crimea and all the territories that we managed to occupy as Russian. Naturally, no one will agree to this. Olha Kosharna, nuclear energy expert, in interview with International French Radio. On the evening of August 30th, when the IAEA mission was already in Kyiv, the following message began to appear on social media. Explosions are heard again in the occupied Anarhodar. Experts believe that this is how Russia is trying to speak the language of nuclear blackmail. Uh, we are going to a war zone, we are going to occupy territory, and this requires uh, the explicit guarantees from not only from the Russian Federation, also from uh, the Republic of Ukraine, and we have been able to secure that. We give them a list, also a list of, of the main, main very important points there, which they should check, and that is from technical point of view, and another is the understanding where the Russian military is. On this day. We have information that they are now trying to hide uh, this uh, military presence and so they should check all, all of this. A delegation of representatives of the International Nuclear Safety Agency plans to inspect the station from August 31st to September 3rd. Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Natalia Husak, Volodymyr Stengelov, UATV News.